In this video, we will learn how to assign resources to tasks automatically by means of AutoMatch resource to tasks. First of all, let's clear all filters from Gantt chart. Click over the heading of the Gantt chart and choose Clear all filters. Now go to Customize columns and remove unnecessary columns, such as Task PBS1, which we filled with Excel calendar, level code, and assembly code. OK. In the Resource tab, manually select all the visible resources in the table. With Shift, we need to unassign all our resources from the tasks. As you can see, we have 49 glazing walls assigned. So click over the resources and select Unassigned from all tasks. This will say that 49 objects have been unassigned. Check the 3D resources column, it should be completely empty. Let's also clean resource columns. Go to customize columns, select all the fields below VBS and drag them all on the left. Now open assign resources tab, auto matching and resource to tasks. This feature allows automatically assign resources to, or resource groups to tasks by using filters and rules. You can import previously exported AutoMatch XML file via import. We will test it upon creating our own AutoMatch rule. Now let's go ahead and create our own rule. Press over a new button. In the appeared window, name our rule. Let's name it assign by VBS. Summary options checkboxes are quite intuitive. On the left, you define rules for resources and resource groups. On the right, the same options for tasks. The relations used to set different linkage when the search is applied and match found. Option none stands for not applying linkage between resources and tasks. One to one is one resource can be assigned to one activity and many to many is multiple resources can be assigned to one or multiple tasks simultaneously. To start compiling the expression, click Add. Now all the panels below the expression are active. To find out more about assignment rules, click over the Help button. Here you see that AutoMatch window. And to find more about this field, click over Define Search Expressions. This page provides all necessary details in regards to defining operator, term, algorithm, and options. For this time, all setups are quite simple. The term field is divided by two. So on the left, you can see resource attributes, and on the right, you can see task attribute. We have to select a matching attribute in the both fields. For the resource, we will choose a user field from the drop-down box. So click over the drop-down and select User Field. As a user field, we have established a VBS parameter. So click over the user field and type in VBS. And select it from the list. For task, we also were using user field and its name is uh, task VBS2, the calculated user field. So click over user field and select task VBS2. That's it for our find expression. Now click on the save and OK. In order to start searching matches between resources and tasks, you should click on search. You notice that window changed. So first column is resource sequence column. So the second column is the resource name the task name and the appearance profile. Now if you click over the resource, you will see a highlighted object on the 3D view. The same applies to tasks. Click over the L2 railing task and you see it highlighted. From the same window you can change appearance profile. So indeed it's better to take care of appearance profiles and create them before. For now, assume all these assignments are satisfying and click over Assign All. 
the appeared window should tell us that assigning operation finished successfully. So click OK. But we still have some unassigned elements on the 3D view. This means that for these objects, no matching activity was found. Let's click over this object and see its VBS code. Clear selection. As a VBS value, you can see that it's level 1 living room C3030. So such task VBS code is not existing in the table. In such situation, we need to create a wrapper to a planning team so they will revise work schedule and add missing activities to it. In order to create such a report, we can hide our surfaces, clicking hide selected. Then we can select the rest of the objects. Make sure that you select all the elements. Now we can copy the resources with VBS codes from the resources table, copy as text, open Excel and paste them in a table. Now we can remove all duplicates from the D column. You can see now that the six activities are missing from our work schedule. So we can create a report to a planning team and they will include these activities to work schedule. So let's assume that our planning engineer updated our schedule and sent us XML file. So we need to go to Synchro and synchronize it from. Click over external data, find the Microsoft Project XML, to Synchro, Synchronize from, and choose Synchronize from again. Go to the Browse, and select 3.3 to Synchro XML. Open it. Leave all these comments default, and click Synchronize. Click Finish. Now we need to recalculate our task PBS to value. Go to the user fields and choose recalculate values. And OK. So all the VBS values have been established automatically for all tasks. So the last thing to do, we need to go to resource to tasks again, edit our rule, and select Ignore assigned resources. Click OK. And do the search again. It seems all missing elements were found now. 27 elements. Yes, 27 elements. So click over Assign. And now it's finished successfully. So all resources have been assigned to a task automatically. And now we can play our animation. In the 3D review, you can select the speed of the animation. I set it as two weeks. And just click over the play. And you can see the segments of the construction.